this is me trying to show my kitchen some love because I just kept ignoring it. Eh, it's not that bad. I just needed a good scrubbing. I usually we spray and wipe, but this time I just wanted to actually scrub. I wanted to do a deep cleaning. Like the ones that you do when people move in, move out, stuff like that. Hey, those Brillo pads, I it's the first time I used one on my stove. Those things are bomb. You need to go get some. I just wish they made some without the soap in them. Because when you try to press hard to scrub everything out, like you start squeezing all the soap out. And it can be pretty messy. But they're bomb you need to go get some i was just trying to get the the bottom part of where my stove is but it wasn't too bad i had already cleaned that area a few months ago now my microwave I mean, the inside wasn't too bad, but the outside was pretty bad because, you know, people cook and grease kind of just goes everywhere. At this point, I think I was kind of regretting this deep cleaning because it was just taking so much damn time to finish. And I wasn't even halfway there. I was ready to cry. This is a moment where Yesenia realized she fucked up because she had so many freaking dishes. I just wanted to like take them outside and set them on fire because it was so many dishes. There's gonna be two batches of dirty dishes that I do here. Um, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. Like I really wanted to cry, but I had to suck it up and finish what I started. So quick question, am I the only one that puts bleach in their soapy water? Because I don't know, I just, I have a thing for smelling dishes. And because I know I have that habit of smelling dishes, I feel like other people have that habit. So I gotta put some bleach in there in order to take the, the smell from cups and plates and all kind of stuff. So... Let me know. Let me know if you guys do that too. And, uh... As I was saying, those Brillo pads, they work really good because I was getting I was getting most of the stuff out from my stove top grills. Um, I feel like if I had invested a whole hour in cleaning them, I would have left them like brand new. But I just, I had so many dishes, you know what? 
I was like, this will do. This will do. I'm not having an inspector coming in to check my house anyway, so who cares? And there's all kinds of sticky stuff dripping down on my cabinet doors. There's always something. So I always, when I clean, I have to make sure to wipe all my cabinet doors because otherwise it just looks, looks ratchet as hell, you know? Clean kitchen, dirty ass cabinet doors. Can't have that. So also let me know what kind of cleaner you guys use because I've tried so many right now I'm using salsuds and I like it but I feel like there's there could be more uh, this is my favorite part I like scrubbing my floors because you know a little mopping doesn't really do it for me and this is yeah this is where I was just I had had it already i i didn't know what to do but i knew i had to finish you know i was so done with my day at this point I had so many dishes because everyone in my house cooks, but not everyone cleans and not everyone washes their plate. Um, my youngest one, he loves to just, he even has his own little like pots and pans set because he likes to just start making random shit in my kitchen. So, I thought I'd buy him his own stuff because he was burning my shit. Oops. Now, I really wish I could wash dishes as fast as this because that's probably like six minutes in video time and it was two hours in real life. So fuck this.
well that's it that's the finish look of my kitchen after a whole day of cleaning hope you guys enjoyed and until next time bye bye